going on guys it's Caleb and today we have a B9 and a half Audi SQ5 that is in the shop for a detail. This SQ5 is in Mythos Black Metallic and if you know Audi vehicles this is a beautiful black that comes in a lot of their R S models and their S models and stuff. It's a black with a metallic flake in it that kind of sheens a little green like I don't know how else to explain it it's just a beautiful color. This thing is coated with Crystal Serum Ultra and it has not been refreshed in quite some time so we're going to go ahead and get this thing nice and refreshed get the interior nice and nano coated with some G Technics leather guard and cleaned up so that way the owner can drive this thing to northern Georgia. So let's go ahead and dive into this detail. Before we go any further, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone watching this. This YouTube channel has just been crazy in the last year and I'm just so thankful for all of you guys who stick around and enjoy my videos. So I hope you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving, some awesome food, awesome time with family. Let's get this thing going. <music> Oh, 
Now this car is in near immaculate condition and when I was moving it to the hand washing portion of the detail I was terrified of ruining that because if you're not washing properly you can really really introduce a lot of damage. Now the one way I go at preventing that is by using a foam cannon. If you're new here I really recommend going back into some of my previous videos because I've deep dived into this a little more about lubrication and stuff but foam cannons are really going to help you achieve prime lubrication especially with hand washing as well as clay barring. For example after this part we're going to go ahead and clay bar this thing because of how contaminated it is and although I do not use a foam cannon I'm using my wash mitt with fresh soap so that way I can wash over an area make sure it's lubricated hit it with a clay bar and move on. and treat the ceramic coating that's on the car first, and then we'll start diving into the interior. I think I'll bring you guys along with me. I should have enough light. Now, as we all know, ceramic coatings do not last forever, and it's important to upkeep it so that way you can get the most life possible out of it. And that was the entire purpose of this detail, was to get it nice and decontaminated and replenish the coating with something like Adams Polish's Ceramic Boost. Granted, there's a bunch of different products out there that you can test around and play with and do. Just me personally, I like using Adams Ceramic Boost as well as Car Pro Reload. They seem to be super good products that I've continued to use over the last few years, so whenever a car like this comes through, I make sure to use it. The interior of this car was not dirty by any stretch of the imagination. It just needed a good blowing with an air gun and then vacuuming it up, wiping it down. Just the very bare bones basic interior detail. We start off by using an air gun just to get everything out of crevices, out of tight spots of the carpet, out of little bends and areas of the seats, that sort of thing. So that way everything is loose and ready to just get sucked up by a vacuum.
after getting the seats cleaned up with some stoners, a leather cleaner, I went ahead and wiped them all down with just a wet towel, just water, nothing crazy. And after that dry, we're ready to put on the nano coating. We're going to be using Leather Guard from G-Technic. Very basic and straightforward product to use that gives a lot of benefits. Just go ahead and wipe down an area with an applicator pad, come back after a little bit and wipe off any excess. It really is that straightforward and you get UV protection, you get protection from color swapping like as if you were getting in and out of a vehicle and like dye from your jeans get on it. Just a really easy and good product to have on hand if you want to keep your leather seats or armrests and stuff in good shape. And after all of that, all we have to use is some invisible glass on the glass, get it nice and cleaned up, go ahead and steam the floor mats because they're all weather floor mats, put on some tire dressing, and we're pretty much wrapped up with this. Just take a minute of your time real quick as we're nearing the end of this video and just say thank you. You know, Thanksgiving is all about remembering and being thankful for what you have and uh, this year has just been insane with the YouTube channel. I've grown exponentially. Like, I really don't have any words for it other than thank you. I'm so thankful for this and what you guys have been able to provide for me and the content I've been able to provide for you and how much my business has grown and how much I've grown as a person. It's just been wild when I sit back and think about it. I'm kind of speechless whenever it comes to these sort of things. I'm not really good about this. and I don't know what to say, honestly, other than thank you so much. And I'll make a little video near the end of the year wrapping up the year and whatnot. So I just thank you guys. Seriously, I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and have a wonderful time with your family and have good food and things like that. And if you don't have that provided to you, then I really just hope you make the most of whatever you have going on. Overall, that's it. I mean, honestly, this was a beautiful car, <laughs> wonderful detail. It was so much fun to do. And I thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please go ahead and leave a like. And if you like detailing content, go ahead and press subscribe. And if you ring that bell to know every single time I upload. Seriously, guys, thank you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you've made it this far, go ahead and stick around for the ending cinematic because this is a beautiful car. And I will see you all next time. See you.